All righty, let's get into the next topic. It is time for hibernation, or ready for it at least. Las Vegas, it's been real. We appreciate you coming to this NLL standings, the Unified Standings first time. And honestly, were they ever really in it? I mean, coming into the year, we, we thought that Jack Hannon would be a lot better. Now, granted, the sophomore slump, the reason why that's a thing in sports is because it feels like teams will gear in on a rookie who's like, oh, that guy can't, was, was really good, and now we're going to make him figure it out. So maybe in the third year, Jack Hannon will be a lot better. Maybe he finishes strong for this year. But he was a, a I won't say a glaring problem, but he was a not as good as he was last year, which is to be expected. Um, Landon Cows um, was had some really, really good games and had some really eh games. But Landon Cows is a friend of the show, always watches the stories, I believe watches the show, so that's pretty cool. Him and Joel Watson, actually, which is really awesome. I don't know what's next for Las Vegas at the end of the season. Their remaining schedule is as follows. They've got um, at Georgia, hello, versus Colorado, and then versus Buffalo. My buddy Aaron Crouch said he's going to that Buffalo game as well, so I hope to share some pictures from that one. But they've got head coach Sean Williams. Jake Elliott was saying on the broadcast that there's, you know, something – there's like a, a good prospect coming in. He was like drafted number two or number three overall last year. I should know that guy's name, but I don't. I didn't look it up before the show. But Sean Williams has got a dilemma on his hands of who he wants this team to be. You know, it's funny. I was watching an old Toronto Rock Buffalo Bandits game the other day, like in, from 2019 or 2020. I didn't realize Rob Hellier was on the Toronto Rock. And he was like such a sniper. I don't know where that Rob Hellier went. It'd be nice to have him back, though. I feel like Rob Hellier defers too much on this team. Maybe that's part of the game plan, I'm sure. But for a guy who was so good in Toronto, in a rivalry between Buffalo and Toronto, and was a high pick by Toronto, I just wonder why he isn't more aggressive than when I know he can be. Oh, Adam Poitras. Adam, I lied. Yeah, Adam Poitras is the name for the um, – prospect for the dogs. He is apparently a very good goal scorer according to Jake Elliott. And I trust Jake Elliott's um, line of reasoning because he's a he's a lacrosse guy. Those guys know their stuff. So I like I said, I just hope Rob Hellyer finds a way to not just be the assist man because everyone loves a Chris Paul, but don't we all love a good Steph Curry? And he's not, maybe that's not a great example because Steph Curry can still find out about John Morant. John Morant can find a way to get others involved and still drop his 30-piece, okay? And I feel like there's a time where if the defense, if you're not going to be a defensive team, your offense has got to score. If Jack Hanna ain't got it, Rob Hellier shoot the ball, for God crying out loud. That's what I want to see from Rob Hellier. And I'm not putting this at the feet of anybody. Again, I want to know from Sean Williams, is this team going to be a hard-nosed Las Vegas defense, you know, you come into our barn and you get roughed up because you know they have a lot of fights. It seems like they have so many rough and tough stuff behind the um, play. I just want to know, do they want to be the Jack Hanna, Dylan Watson, Rob Hellier squad? Or do they want to be the ground and pound great goalie? Because I put it this way, if they want to be that kind of a team, I don't think Landon Kells is the answer. I know he's young. I trust Sean Williams because he apparently trusts in Landon Kells. Who's a who's very young. But we've seen from Chris Riglieri, darn being young. And yeah, a Riglieri could be an anomaly. But with so many guys learning the game more and more, you're going to have more and more of these young guys be better earlier on. And sometimes the gr- the best part of greatness is consistency. So when you have a goalie who on some nights is really good, aka Rylan Hartley. Other nights, he just doesn't have it. Can you really win anything? Again, I'm not calling for Landon Kell's job. I think next year he could be, he could be really good. But I want to know what this team's, all, this team's offensive and defensive identity is. I want to know what they have. I just want to know what they're going to do moving forward. I think fans of Las Vegas have seen the ball in, buy in at least 6,233 people. You can argue whether or not that was true or not, but... It looked like a, they've been getting decent crowds over there in Vegas. 
Like people are buying in. There's sports to be had. I don't think they have an XFL slash UFL team. Um, WNBA, I mean, fans bought into that and they they love their WNBA team, but they've won a, a couple of finals now. So really, if the Raiders ain't there, lacrosse would really be could really be the thing. That could be the, the go-to. I have um, also understood from the outside looking in and from AJ Cannell, who came on the show, and also others. So I just w- listened to one broadcast saying, Sean Williams doing a great job in the community. And not just, you know, the whole pat on the back awareness stuff. I'm talking about, like, just growing the game in general. Like, it's okay to have, like, these fundraisers and charities, but eventually it's like, what are you doing to grow the sport besides that? And I feel like it's a good thing Las Vegas has been out there showing people, hey, we have a great product, watch it. I don't know how they're doing it specifically. I just know that's happening. So that's awesome to see. I think it's a great product. Steve Nash, Dustin Johnson, um, Joe Sy, they got a whole crew who obviously know what they're doing. It's an investment for them, so obviously they're going to put some money into it, which is awesome to see. But yeah, my end goal for Las Vegas, I, I didn't really think they ever had a chance this year. I thought they might play around with some teams and get some upsets, but even then, they were blown out of the water quite a bit this year. We all know what happened in the Panther City game. Vancouver just smeared them this past game, and they still have uh, two home games to go. Again, they were against Colorado, and they were against Buffalo, two very competitive teams, and Colorado still might very well realistically be fighting for a playoff spot when that happens. So how much pride does this team have and again, I'll say, I'll say this point again. Las Vegas, there are some. We know some guys. Most guys in the league work Monday through Friday, nine to fives. A lot of them do. That's the cold hard facts of it. So eventually, it comes to the point of how good do you want to be? How much do you want to put into it? Because you could pay the way for the future. It could pay off by twenty twenty eight when the Olympics happen. It could pay off in 2038, but it's just a matter of how invested you are in winning. And the fact they're playing the sport in general shows me they are invested in winning. So I look forward to seeing what Vegas does next. But I'm telling you what, man, these puppies, I like them. I, I like the team. I feel like they're more promising than Panther City, wherever that is. I'm kidding. But I, it seems like they're a good expansion team. They just need to find out who they are. And after that, I think they'll, they'll be fine. I would I would like them to be a, de- a defensive powerhouse, though. That's what I want to see. I think Landon Kells could be that goalie if he gets more consistent. But I think they have a mean enough team, a, an evil enough looking barn. I think they could play with some teams and like make them kind of with Albany did this year. Like Albany Firewolves like brushed people around and got in the band's heads twice in two different games. So th- there's a there's a, a place for that in the NLL, and dogs could be that place. And who knows? They could fool around and be the Pistons and win the championship in 2004. Just saying. 